Hi, and welcome to this section of the Differential Equations Tutor. In this section, we're going to switch gears a little bit and begin to talk about what we refer to as the linear differential operator. The linear differential operator. So it has a very complicated sounding name, but like most things in math and in science and physics and things like that, uh, the names are just can turn you off for really no good reason. This is really one of those cases. Uh, what we have here is a situation where in the last couple sections we wrote down what a linear differential equation looks like. And it's kind of cumbersome. I mean, and you can see that if you had a very complicated equation, writing those derivatives down with the subscript, with the superscripts everywhere, uh, you know, fifth order, fourth order, third order, and kind of keeping track of it all, is just going to get uh, cumbersome. You know, dx to the fifth over dt fifth and all that stuff. It's just going to be uh, cumbersome and complicated. So basically, uh, the smart mathematical folks before our time invented uh, operator notation is what we call it, linear differential operator. So it has a really ugly sounding name, it's really, really simple. Basically what it's going to boil down to is that when we write our differential equations from now on, um, we're typically used to seeing it like this. Uh, nth derivative of x with respect to time. So this could be second derivative, m would be two, so d squared x dt squared. What we're going to do from now on most of the time in, in this guy is we're going to write that as the following. Instead of writing this big fraction with the differentials everywhere, the differential notation, I'm going to write it in operator notation, which is a capital D with the superscript M X. Now make sure you understand what's going on here. So uh, what we have is, this is what we call differential notation from calculus. So we have a fraction D M -th uh, x dt to the nth power. Well, we're going to re rewrite it as anytime we see a capital D, we know that it's dx dt, basically, or it's ddt, really, is what we're trying to say. The superscript tells us what derivative we're taking. The x is sitting out here, much like this x is sitting out here. You can kind of think of this guy as operating on x. This whole derivative, this nth derivative with respect to t is operating on x here. That's what gives us uh, the derivative of that guy. Well, this is operating, this, this nth derivative capital D is operating on x. It's just that it's simpler since we're always dealing with differential equations, that if we just write a capital D down, we know it's, it's a derivative with respect to our independent variable. In this case, we're going to assume it's a function of time, but really, the independent variable, since these equations are all a function of one variable, could be whatever variable you want. Could be theta, could be uh, gamma, whatever, it doesn't matter, but typically in this course I've been using with respect to time, but you could be doing with respect to whatever. So when you do a capital D, it's basically saying take the nth derivative with respect to whatever variable we've been working with of whatever follows. So as an example, just to kind of nail it down and make it concrete, if I wrote down the following, Everyone knows this is the second derivative of x with respect to time. But notice how you have to put these twos everywhere. Ugly fraction bar, all this stuff, the little lowercase d's, hard to read. Well, if I were going to write it in operator notation, it would be d squared x. And it means exactly the same thing. The capital D means take a derivative. The with respect to time part is implied just because x is a function of time that we're dealing with. Um, capital D means d dt, basically. The squared means second derivative. And whatever follows, in this case it's x, is just like it is here. It's just sitting there and you're operating on, on x. So basically, that's, that's the way it works. And, and it's going to greatly simplify how we write our differential equations. And also some of the solution methods we use later. This, is, this notation is going to make it much easier. So as uh, examples, as examples, okay, what if we had the differential equation in the old notation, 3, and then second derivative of x with respect to time minus t dx with respect to time is equal to t squared. All right, so this is a differential equation we've been used to seeing. 3 times the second derivative plus, uh, minus t times first derivative is equal to the stuff on the right hand side. Now if I were going to write it in operator notation, it would be very simply 3d squared x minus t d x is equal to t squared. Make sure you understand this. The 3 is still here because it's there. The d squared means d dt, but second derivative. It doesn't mean square anything. I keep saying squared, but it's not squared. It's second derivative, okay? But the d squared here means second derivative of whatever follows. In this case, x follows. Minus t stays from front. 
this capital D by itself means DD, DDT of whatever follows, in this case is X, same as here. So this is a direct translation of this. It doesn't make the problem more complicated, doesn't make it you know, uh, different, it's just changing the way that we write it down. The right hand side stays the same. Now there's one little tiny uh, thing that I do want to tell you, is that most of the time the way you do it is you, you can kind of treat these guys as a, like a, sort of like an equation, well it is an equation, it's a differential equation, but you can factor this expression much like an algebraic expression. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to factor out an x, x is common to both of these terms, then the way I would do it would be 3d squared minus t times d, close parentheses, uh, x would be on the outside, is equal to t squared. Make sure you understand that. X was common to both. Instead of pulling it out on the left-hand side, pull it out on the right-hand side. Everything else is basically the same as what we had before. The reason this is important, and, and this, is, this, this way, by the way, is usually the way we write it like this. So this, I'm going to put a star by this. This is usually how you'll see it written in books and everything else, is the following. We basically have a set of derivatives here with functions of time out in front of them, right? And they're sitting here, and this is what we call our linear differential operator. It is a set of derivatives that once we operate on x, yields the solution. So we have a set of derivatives operating on a variable, uh, or I should say not a variable, on a function x. And when we do that operation, we say that it's equal to t squared. This is our differential equation. So it's really important for you to understand that, because this guy is really the linear differential operator for this problem. So we're going to call, we're going to say that this is our linear differential operator. And we put it in quotes, L. Usually you write it as L. L means linear differential operator. Um, so it's the same exact thing as what we had before. It's no different. We just wrap our derivatives together, have a slightly different notation, and we say that whatever's in parentheses operates on x. When we say operates, it's like if you want to actually do the math, then you would distribute this x back in and operate on x here. You would distribute it back in and operate on x here. Taking the derivatives, here you would take two derivatives of x, here you would take one derivative of x, and you would recover this original differential equation you have. Now I think you can all agree that something like this is much easier on the eyes than all these fractions and superscripts everywhere, especially if you have like a fourth order or a fifth order differential equation. Having it in this notation is going to make it a lot easier. And also, I'm, I'm giving a little bit of foreshadowing, when we get into solution techniques down the road, having it written like this is going to make it easier for you to know what to do. I'm not going to tell you why yet because it'll just get confusing, but just trust me on that.